In this mini little video, we're going to talk about independent and dependent variables. These variables are normally found in your formulized hypothesis. And so let's pretend that we are going to do an experiment with apple trees. And so we take our first apple tree, and then we take our second apple tree. It should be the same species and same age of apple tree. What we're going to do is we're going to water the apple tree with different types of water. So our control would be just regular water. And we want to see if sugar water is going to make sweeter and bigger apples. So we will say that over here Tree A is going to be regular water, and tree B is going to be this sugar water. In the end, what we're going to then do is count the number of apples. So in this experiment, um, we're going to look at the number of apples. We're also going to look at the size of the apple and whether or not the apple was sweeter. So for our independent variable, independent variable is the one that we are controlling. This is the one that's going to be compared to versus the control. So with this particular experiment, our independent variable would be the different type of water. Now our dependent variables, a good way to think about this, is that they uh, rely on what you are manipulating. So they are dependent upon the manipulation that you have put into the experiment. So for this example, our dependent variable um, would be what we are going to measure, what we are going to count, what we are going to observe. So for this, our dependent variables would be the number of apples, the size of the apple, the sweetness of the apples. And those are independent and dependent variables.